Hey, what's up, guys? So, for today's video, we're gonna do another episode of how two photographers can like the same location but have different visions for it. And to help me with today's video is my friend Claudio and Bernadette. Before we start, I just want to say that I was super hyped to collaborate with my friend Claudio who has been really killing it and whose shooting style is a lot different than mine. His portrait and studio work is freaking fire as you guys can see and I've also been meaning to collaborate with my really amazing and supportive friend Bernadette who you possibly already seen me post on my Instagram story. She's amazing and I have both of their Instagrams linked down below for you guys to check out. Now back to the video. So here's the location we picked and it's a Mexican restaurant in LA which we thought had some nice aesthetics for a shoot. Alright guys, I'm gonna be going first and I'm gonna shoot this denim jacket and white bucket hat and also a white shirt underneath and we paired it with some jeans and some white pumas. We're just trying to go for a loose, more hip hop type of look. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna have you just looking up a little bit more so I don't get too much shadow on your face. Can you put it up more? Oh, actually hold it, that looks cool. Like from, like from yeah, like that. Very sick. One of the hardest things I found as I was shooting was the harsh sunlight. I usually do like to shoot in hard light, but the sun was really high up and it gave us really deep shadows as you guys can see in my raw photos. And because the sunlight was very harsh, it was overexposing the white shirt, which is why I had to speed up the shutter speed and compensate for the highlights getting blown out. This is why I got dark shadows. And I will be showing you guys the rest of my edits, but you'll see why I'm saving it towards the end once we get there. And now for Claudio's look, we had Bernadette switch to this beautiful black and wavy dress. And as you guys can see, it's already a completely different vibe, which is sick. So as far as like posing and whatnot, I want this to stay true to what it is, like very Hispanic Latin vibes. So feel free to like flare the dress around. Um, I definitely like hands like coming down in front of your face for a shadow. Like I totally like that. And anything else I'll let you know. Are you able to, would you be able to like crouch down yeah. or so like that? Yeah, and show off the tattoo. That's fucking tight. Actually, I'm blur that out. Beep. <laughs> Are you able to bring the dress to show off the tattoo a little bit more? Hold that. Sheesh. Good. Good. Excellent. Do that again, tease your hair and like look straight up. Yeah, hold that, excellent. One of my favorite things of seeing Claudio shoot was how he directs the model and also takes several shots as the model is moving to her pose. I think that's a really good move because it keeps the shoe very active and it also helps you capture very natural and candid poses from the model. I thought it'd be nice to show you guys how our edits look side by side so you guys can see how different both of our visions were but how they both still worked with the location. One of my favorite things about shooting this little series is seeing the end results of how both of us shot and edited the photos. It's always fun and inspiring to see both perspectives. I'm gonna keep doing my best to improve with these videos and put more content out soon and I hope to catch you guys on the next one. Alright, peace.